sorry, man, doing a, a roundtable media call. Um, Sean Porter and Errol Spence kind of attacked Errol Spence in his boxing IQ, which uh, a lot of people have, but he got this far. Uh, he's got this far uh, doing what he's doing, but I'm going to play it. Um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance. You get notifications, we go live or drop video. Um, so let's get into it. Um, give me one second, just make sure everything going good. All right, here we go. I'll go ahead and go first. Um, <clears throat> uh, and 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 I, I'm definitely gonna paint this picture the correct way. When I fought Arrow, going into that fight, I said I need everything to beat this guy. I was, I, was, I can't leave anything at the gym. I can't leave anything at home. I had to take everything, and I, in order to beat this guy. And I think about five rounds went by, and. Just a simple move, a pullback counter, and I counter punched his jab with my jab, and and he and he shook his head and he and he said something, and I thought to I said, oh I got you, and what I realized in that moment was, he's not not as smart, not as intellectually sound as 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 I thought he was going to be, and that seemed to kind of carry through the entire fight. I felt like I was a step ahead of Arrow, the entire fight all the way up until that knockdown moment. Um, and that was surprising to me. I thought that Arrow was going to be more was was going to be uh, more intelligent in the ring, and I thought that that simple pullback counter move. It's one thing to get hit with it, like you know things things happen. That you, know, but for him to acknowledge it and show how how frustrated he was with in that moment, and then I started to see other moments of of frustration as well. Um, you know. Uh... Very sharp, very sharp puncher. You know, he's not the. I don't want to say he's the like Errol's. Um, Errol Spencer's more grinding, more thumping kind of power. He is more sharp and snapping. Terence is, you know, and surprising. You know, um, that's what what um, what I'd, what I take from them them too. You know, and uh, he does get frustrated. Errol Spence, he does get frustrated. You know, in the in the fight what we had. You know, we're catching him with shots, he gets frustrated, he shows it, you know, and but like I say, you know, we're talking about two two, you know, A star fighters, you know, and uh it's like I say, it's gonna come down to many things in this fight and they're gonna have to bring absolutely every 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 part of their game to, to get the victory. All right, so these are two guys that fought fought Errol Spence in fought Terrence Crawford. Um, and I believe Derek James said, and I hear people say this all the time, that we don't have to make adjustments. We just going to keep stepping it up and stepping it up and stepping it up and stepping it up. And, you know, in some scenarios, that can work. When you got a good chin and you're 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 very, very conditioned, that can work. But, uh, you know, I think for a lot of a – lot a lot of fighters adjustments have to be made, you know, and basically what they saying is he just got frustrated and there was no real change that came. Wasn't no Obama's change. There was no real change. He didn't make a boxing adjustment, you know, and, um, you know, he just kept stepping it up and stepping it up. Especially, he may get away with that with Terrence Crawford, but once you move up and wait, that ain't going to be the case. You're going to have to show other wrinkles to his game, and maybe he does have other wrinkles. We're assuming that we've seen the best of everything. Like I keep telling y'all, man, he ain't fought nobody. He ain't never been an underdog. He ain't never been close to being an underdog. He fought names, and some people say the same thing about Terrence Crawford. So we're going like, to learn a lot about these guys come fight night. You know, somebody could have an off night. Somebody could have an on night. You know, 
But like I keep telling y'all, sometimes you just need one tool to get the job done. Sometimes you don't you don't need uh you don't need multiple tools to get the job done. But yeah, it wasn't nothing that I mean Ugas fight is very indicative of it's very indicative of what they were just saying. It's very indicative. He just kept stepping it up, stepping it up, stepping it up. And it was something very fishy about that fight when I went back went back and watched it. I'm not going to say nothing. Me and Kobe had the discussion off air, but I'm not going to say nothing. It was something very fishy about that fight. You know, but, you know, um, versus Terrence Crawford, will he need to make adjustment? He might not. His size and his reach and his output just may be too much for Terrence Crawford. You know, is Terrence Crawford going to sit there and let him beat him? No. But I'm pretty sure Errol Spence got an idea of what he want to do. And he t- he's saying, I'm going to break down Terrence Crawford. So he's going to keep throwing and throwing and throwing, hitting him everywhere to break him down. Terrence Crawford got to be aware of that. And then go ahead and say, well, he's fundamentally more sound, man. I don't think so. He makes a lot of fundamental mistakes that with a puncher, he can get clipped. I didn't see Terrence Crawford when he have to. He'll fight a disciplined fight. I didn't see it. I mean, that Sean Porter fight was disciplined until you know Andre Ward said you down. He couldn't believe it. Then it was like, okay, can I go get him? And they was like, yeah, go get him. So, like I continue to say, bro, it's like. Uh, It's gonna be interesting, but just because he had, just because you know, these two guys felt a certain way, it doesn't mean that's going to be conventional wisdom. You can't use the cross matchups to determine a winner or a loser. But yeah, it's not a main. At the end of the day, they said Derrick James. I remember. I remember. I want to say I remember. I'm hearing him. Oh, you don't have you know, you know, you know, you step it up, you just step it up, you know, and that's the adjustment is stepping up and stepping up. That's their adjustment, stepping up the output, stepping up the value, trusting a condition. Then when you get guys like that, bro, the number one thing that you probably need to do is touch that body. You know, number two thing you need to do is be able to effectively counterpunch with combinations. You can't throw one good shot. No, you got to follow up with two or three good shots every now and again. But I don't think anybody thought Errol Spence was the most intellectual fighter out there. He has a very barbaric, brawly type of style. And if you had the physical gifts he had at the welterweight division, I think a lot of people would just rather go about it that way. But Terrence Crawford is going to have to walk through some shit. That's just what it is. He know it. He know it. And I think the counter, I think counter punching is going to be key. You know, and Errol Spence defense is, you know, people so he got great defense. And I just be looking, dude, he square up a lot. And when I do my film breakdown, I will show that he squares up a ton. But more of that may not matter. He may just be too physically big. But Terrence Crawford, who knows? But, you know, Sean Porter saying I did the counter pull. He was just frustrated and he didn't really make any adjustments to for me stopping it. You know, he said, I felt like I was in control into the knockdown. That should let you know something right then and there. Control, my smoky voice. He felt like he was in control. 
And he did nothing to stop that. And if I can get off doing the same thing over and over again versus an opponent, yeah, I feel confident too. You know how people cry, you play Madden because you're running the same plays. Well, stop it. And I stopped running the same plays. So you learn to stop it. Why would I stop doing it? So, um, but yeah, let me know, uh, you know, what y'all think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop a video financially. Want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what your girls and guys think in the comment section. Um, but other than that, man, check out the Welterweight Box Talk Box News playlist. Peace.